You ever wonder what tools and spare parts we carry in our Westie for all those back road adventures we have? Well, today you're going to find out. Now we carry our tools and spare parts in three main spots in the Westie. In the back in the cabinet area is where most of the tools live in a little bag. Um, under the bench seat, we keep some spare parts that are a bit more, um, we want to keep protected like the spare ECU, um, a socket set that just kind of happens to fit in there. But most of the stuff is up front in the stock spare tire location in that clamshell. Uh, we moved a while ago to having a full size spare with a Rocky Mountain Westy rear tire carrier. And that spot up there is a great spot to carry spare parts. So in here we're keeping kind of a mishmash of tools. We've got things like vice grips, um, temperature gun for checking different temperature on the engine and stuff. Uh, we have a tool roll we'll go through in a minute, um, miscellaneous sockets, full Allen wrench set. Keep a large crescent wrench for just crescent wrench stuff. Um, and one thing we keep in here that not a lot of people have, I think they should, are really some inexpensive hose clamp pliers. Uh, we picked these up from Harbor Freight. Uh, they're fantastic for if, if you have to work on a coolant hose situation, you can clamp it off, not lose any more coolant than you need to. They're also just great around camp sometimes for just, you know, clamping tarps around doing things. These are great to have. Um, we've got a small multimeter. Again, we picked this up at Harbor Freight. Inexpensive, but it's nice to be able to check voltages on different parts. So in our tool roll, have an assortment of box end wrenches, another smaller crescent wrench. On the side, we have some more box end wrenches. Um, you know, some of the smaller sizes that won't fit into here. A couple redundant ones in case you lose them. Important ones like 10s and 13s. In this pouch, keep some miscellaneous sockets that are more specialty, I think. Uh, we've got, of course, a, um, a tool for CV joints specifically set aside for that. Fairly sharp tool, no rounded edges. Uh, we keep a standard extension, standard 3H drive. Um, these are really for changing spark plugs if we have to on the road for some reason. Uh, we've got um, some other miscellaneous specific size tools that we we're going to need uh, if we had to run into a problem with the Westie on the road. In the bottom also, we keep, of course, a copy of the Bentley manual. Great campfire reading. We keep a smaller bag full of kind of messier stuff a bit. This has got sealants. It's got uh, JV weld. It's got different epoxies, rubber gloves for things like that. Of course, good quality zip ties. We have a used known good ignition switch. We've got a brand new ignition switch and a fuel injection relay. And of course, miscellaneous wires uh, for any field repairs you may have to do. We keep a funnel in here for adding oil. And of course, a quart of oil. This is actually uh, Shell Rotella T6, 15W40. Keep filling it up in the gallons. We've got a couple of shackles for uh, recovery. We have our snow chains up top. We keep those in about six months of the year or so. Maybe you should keep them in the year round. They're great in the mud too. Um, we also have our uh, V-Air air compressor for um, airing up tires after long gravel roads and stuff. Okay, inside under the bench seat, we keep a few other things. So we keep, in here we've got our jump, jumper cables. We have a gallon of pre-mix antifreeze, 50-50 uh, distilled water and coolant. Roll of Gorilla Tape, of course. Um, can of brake fluid for bleeding clutches and brakes. We have our factory jack is in here. We also have a, another older German jack that I think is handy for lifting up trailing arms and things if you have to change tires. 
if you get it up high enough. Um, we keep our lug wrench wrapped up in a towel. The towel is great for laying on, for wiping up stuff. Also keeps this from rattling around under the seat as much. We also have this Craftsman kind of socket set that I've had laying around. Uh, this is pretty nice because it it does have both standard and metric, which you know we don't need the standard, but they're all part of the kit. Um, these are um, hollow through, so they work for um, extended sockets as well. Because you put these right in, and you can see goes right through so you can have it you don't need both extended and standard sockets these are really fantastic uh, we have both quarter inch and three eighths for all of these we keep spare belts we've got a couple of spare belts in here and in here we have a spare ECU now this is tested known good I ran it for several weeks to make sure there's no problems with it wrapped up in foam it's kept in here because we want to keep it dry um, keep it out of the elements and it's really right next to where we may ever need it so this is one item that I would say if you're driving an old van again around especially in the uh, out of cell range and this is something that really pays to have these can go bad you can get bad solder joints on these you can have just just problems with them and you will not be able to fix this on the road you can pick these up on the classifieds on the Samba through Craigslist or wherever maybe eBay um, but if you do get one, make sure you run it in your van for a while to make sure there's no other problems with it. And once it's good, pack it up, put it in a safe, dry place, and it's there if you ever need it. So in this container, this is a kind of a Ziploc brand container we picked up probably at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. It's got a foam weather seal around it to uh, keep our stuff inside there dry. Uh, inside we've got some more used belts. Uh, I think most of these came with the van we bought it and we just, we've always just kept them in there I guess. We've got a couple of specialty style hoses, um, kind of the smaller ones we keep around, you know, just in case. Uh, one hose you won't find on the road anywhere is the crack pipe hose. We put a brand new one on our van and kept the good old one as a spare. Uh, we've got a couple of miscellaneous seals. Some of the kits you get with the different, uh, you know, exhaust manifold kits and intake manifolds and different seals. I, ones I don't have to use, I guess, keep in here. Um, it's miscellaneous rubber seals. They'll come in handy for sure. A couple of tubes of CV joint grease for um, repacking. Uh, if you have a torn boot or whatever. We have a spare boot and CV joint as well. We've got... Kind of a miscellaneous bag of we've got uh, spark plugs in here used thermostat temp 2 sensor things like that we've got a uh, spare front ball joint our original coil that came in the van we replaced it with and, re and put this one inside we've got some wheel bearing grease to repack front wheel bearings and with that our used front wheel bearings after we replaced them these are both good races that all included in here We've got a old water pump. This one's almost brand new. We had it, we replaced it on the old motor, and then a few months later we decided to rebuild the entire motor and, and uh, just toss it in here just in case. Some more tape, fuel filter. We've got a brand new Bosch fuel pump. We've tested this out to make sure it works. We put on the factory pigtails for the wiring so it goes right in. Cap and rotor, uh, rear main seal, uh, kind of a funny story I guess. We had a few rear main seal leaks in the van when Rocky first rebuilt the motor. He's since taken care of it. I uh, don't probably need to keep this anymore so I'll probably toss this one out. Uh, we also keep a spare AFM. Um, this was the factory airflow meter when we bought the van. It's, it's an okay shape. The carbon tracks are a little bit worn. We replaced it with another used one, but keep this in just in case. Again, like the ECU, this is something you won't be able to fix on the road if there's a problem. Toss in if you have one. We have a the factory overflow tank or, or expansion tank cap. Now, we don't have one of those anymore. This is just more in case we find some on the road. These go bad all the time. Put an old one in there just in case. 
and some CV joint bolts, some brand new ones in case you drop one as you're changing it out or you have a stripped head. Um, and then we've got another jack of a different kind. Might need this for, you know, picking up a trailing arm or whatever. And we have a old known good fuel pressure regulator. Um, that's about it in here. I know this is a lot of stuff in here and, and I think a lot of people are gonna say, why is there so much stuff? Um, when you drive a 33 year old van out some places that we do, you sometimes get a little anxious on, hey, what if something goes wrong? Got my family in here, uh, we have no cell service, what can we do? So I've gone a little maybe crazy at times with this, but uh, you know, knowing that we can fix most of our stuff on the road is invaluable to me. I do all my own work on the van. I know the thing inside and out, but if I don't have the right part on the road, doesn't matter how well I know the van, it's just gonna sit there. So this is a lot and I will keep adding to it. As I see things I, I need or if I replace something on the van with something newer, I'll probably toss the old good part in. Um, again, it may not always be me who needs it. We've helped people on the road before. On the way back from Descend one time, a guy's on the van again, side of the road, wouldn't run, key stuck in the ignition. Well, guess what? We had a spare ignition switch. We jumped in there, we put that one in. He drove all the way back to Seattle with his family and we saw him the next year at Descend and he replaced that switch for us and was super happy. Again, it's not always for you, it's for your fellow, fellow Vanagon owners as well. So um, please let me know in the comments what you have in your van, what you think <laughs> we should keep in ours or whatever you think of what we have going on. I'd love to have a conversation more about this because I would lo love to learn more about the spare parts and tools you guys keep in your vans. Thanks a lot.